Here is an explanation for the answer to final exam, question number 35 in Alternative Energy Demystified, second edition. If you have the printed book, please refer to page 317. A grid intertie wind power system for a residence or small business might include any or all of the following devices except one. Which one? Well, you will never find a penstock in a wind power system of any kind. So the correct choice is B. A penstock is something that diverts water from a reservoir through a water turbine or one or more water turbines and then on down river in an impoundment type hydroelectric power plant. But you will not find a penstock having anything to do with wind. The term penstock applies specifically to hydro power systems. So let's take a look at a, an example of a grid intertie wind power system. This particular system does not include batteries. Some do. Uh, the batteries help to provide you with power in the event you have a windless day and a power failure at the same time. Uh, also a, a, the batteries help to buffer the uh, power from the wind turbine so that you can get a constant stream of power from those batteries and it doesn't depend on how much power the wind turbine is generating but this particular type of system the grid intertie the simplest type basically your wind and your utility combine to provide you with your electricity more wind you use less utility power. Less wind, you use more utility power. The power directing circuits control all of that and give you the amount of power that you need pretty much regardless of the situation. In a specific case where you are using less power than the wind turbine is actually producing, this power directing circuit in some states can sell the excess back to the utility and help to offset your monthly electric bill. Uh, I don't know if this has ever been done. If it has, uh, I'd appreciate it if somebody would tell me if they've ever had a situation where they had so much wind power in a given month that it exceeded the amount that they needed and the excess was bought back by the utility and the utility company then sent them a check instead of sending them a bill. I wonder if that's ever happened. Uh, it would be interesting to see if that ever happens. In, in our society, sometimes I wonder a little bit. Uh, it's always the consumer that gets the short end of the stick, so it would seem almost axiomatic that that could not happen. But, but I would think that it could, or there could be averaging of your utility bills over a period of time. I think it would be quite rare for a person to actually have one of these grid intertie systems and end up making a profit because if they if they could generate that much power from the wind they wouldn't need the utility at all and they could just have a standalone system but once again the correct choice for this question is choice B a penstock you will not find that in any kind of wind power system